Apple has just released a bunch of new software updates for their devices and among those we have the fifth point update for macOS Sonoma. So right here if we go into our system preferences which we still by the way can't adjust the width we can adjust the height but the width I don't know why Apple took that away but as you can see we have a new software update and if we go into here you can see this is macOS Sonoma 14.5 and the update size for me on my device comes in at exactly 2.43 gigs. I haven't been covering this update very frequently because we are less than a month away from the next macOS version which is going to be macOS 15 but you can see the download file size that it's pretty similar to the update file size and it's 2.43 gigs and I'll just go ahead and finish the download and installation and then after this we'll go ahead and see what are the new features and changes that this update has to offer. There are some changes even though they are minor. Just like that our device is now up to date and if we go into the system settings here go to general and then go to software update you can see we are now current and up to date with the build number 23F79 which is current and now if we go into the storage just to see how much you know Mac OS is taken up as part of the software and right there you can see it's 20.4 gigs which is pretty much average I usually average between 18 and 20 gigs so that's okay and now let's look at some of the changes or new features and changes that this update has to offer the first one you can probably see here on this section of my device because the weather app front text has been slightly made a little bit bold compared to what we had there before so if you had that you can always see after the update and then the second thing that this update brings is that the SDK comes bundled with Xcode 15.4 as you can see here and if not current you can always update from the Mac app store and then there's a fix when it comes to FaceTime because this update fixes an issue where users might not be able to approve or decline a FaceTime link call because notification might not be received on the caller side for them to accept or decline the call. Now as you can see here I have FaceTime update and a whole bunch of stuff going on in the background. I don't know if it's good or if it's bad but one of the things that I've highlighted before when it comes to reactions is that if you're in a meeting and you are doing something with your hands it can always tend to you know put these artifacts or effects in FaceTime but with the previous update and this update Apple is continuing to revert reactions to off so when you update you will see this portion here that says reactions it will be off and if you want to turn it on during or after your meeting you can always do that from this sub menu section which is something that's good. If you're using the previous Mac OS 14.4 version and you open or download an app designed for iPad and when you launch it Mac OS launches the wrong version well this update fixes that issue and that's now a thing of the past. I usually like to check this but if we go to about Safari you can see the version that has been updated slightly. The version is 17.5 and the build number has been increased incremented just the last digit by two just for stability and security updates as well which we'll find out later. If you're experiencing issues with spotlight search that I have opened up here I'll be happy to let you know that at least for me in my experience I haven't experienced any issues and then a number of people reached out about QuickTime which seems to be working seamlessly for me as well with this update. One thing that you won't be able to see right away when the update comes out because Apple is trying to give enough people ample time to update to this Mac OS 14.5 for the important reasons which tend to be for security patches. You won't see that right now but keep an eye on this page maybe after a few hours or a few days after this update comes out Apple will then auto populate the latest version of Mac OS which will be Mac OS 14.5 because if you look at this version here the last one is Mac OS 14.4 but then after some time they will update it with this and we'll get to be able to see what common vulnerabilities and exposures Apple is trying to resolve with this update. Apple released new iPads and to be specific for Mac users who are interested in the new iPad Pro that's the most thinnest device that Apple has ever made but not only that but this device is the first device to get the new powerful M4 chip that no Mac has. So Unfortunately they didn't tell or say anything about new Macs that were going to be coming and even though you know Macs usually get the latest chips and then they go on to iPads and so on 
we didn't get any new wallpapers or screensavers that came with the new ipad but if that changes i always update you right here on the channel now this is on the app store under the automatic update section for my applications you can see here i have a bunch of updates that are available and some of them are like the apple's own iWorks that's numbers pages and keynote and not only that because final cut pro is going to get some new features that are going to be working with the new ipad pro the m4 ipad there's a version that here for updating to and some other developers to have updated their devices to make them work seamlessly with the latest mac os 14.5 version so check this page to make sure that your apps are on the latest versions if you follow my channel you probably know that apple released some new wallpapers for the iphone ipad and a new apple watch face for the apple watch but when it comes to mac os at this point in time we haven't got anything so if that changes too i'll be able to update you if you open up your apple news application you'll be able to see there's going to be a pop-up screen for the first time and then if you go to this puzzles you can see you there's a pop-up sign for game center that prompts you to play against your friends and log in your scores and then if you go to where it say sports there's usually a new pop-up screen that shows up and you can see that here it says get more coverage and not only that if you go to news plus and you go to your followers you'll be able to see some little minor additions that have been added to this i'm not an apple news plus subscriber but if you do this is something that you can always watch out for if you launch books for the first time just give it a moment there's a new pop-up screen that comes up and then also if you look at this top section here you can see new read more with daily reading goals which is a set goal that you can set for yourself according to your needs if you want to read a specific number of pages a specific number of books or for a specific number of time then you can always explore the bookstore and then you can read away this is way overdue even though i'm not 100 percent happy but if you look at my podcast uh widgets that i have right here just above me you can see right now i have this cbc world news that i was playing and now you can see if i'm not doing anything it just reverts to this default like prominent purple color but if i play like for example the waveform podcast right here and just leave it there you can see the background color of the widget changes and then if i was to go to this one the man you can see it also changes if i was to go to joe rogan it changes to this like uh brownish or color right there so that's a new addition now like i mentioned i'm not 100 percent happy with this update even though it's good that they added this because if i was to pause this and then just show you my widgets and try to edit the widget we don't have the music widget yet but yet we have books and we have podcast where's music to be coming i guess if you open up the clock application on your mac and then you go to your ringer or ringtones right here you can see if you go all the way down this is the classic section they've added more tunes and it's good to see that unlike before where you had just a limited number you could only see up to waves all these are here and most of them do carry over from the previous mac os 14.4 and then also another thing that carries over from the previous update to this are the new emojis so on your keyboard if you press Control, command and spacebar you see the new emojis that were were added with the previous update those carry over and for example if you want to shake your head like this and be able to show it on your mac well it's still here in terms of battery life and overall device performance that's going to take some time to be able to get the real feeling of this update so make sure you do subscribe so that when i do a follow-up video if there's something drastically changed then i'll be able to let you know and then at the same time one thing that i wanted to highlight is when you can expect the next update to come out which would be mac os 14.6 and that's going to come out in beta and it's gonna stay in beta for about a month so that means that at the same time when wwdc 2024 kicks off on june 10 we'll get mac os 15 betas but at the same time we'll still have mac os 14.6 betas but mac os 14.6 will just be security patches and minor updates if any and mac os 15 will be the big update that i'll be covering starting on june 10 
in beta going up to the official release. So if that's something that you are interested in and you want to follow my journey here on the channel, do hit like and subscribe. And um, if you'd like me to cover anything else related to macOS, let me know in the comment section below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.